Check your calendars, I think you'll find it's chip month, which is very lucky because I'm here with the fellow himself. Hello. It's good. I'm good, how are you? Cool, mate. How does it feel to have a whole month of the calendar dedicated to you? Feels good. Yeah? Feels good. Are you really marking your place? January, February, March, chip month, June, July? August, September. November. Um, so, so you've been quite busy since the last time right? we sat down and had a proper chat, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, proper busy, man. Mm. Proper. Like, um, you covered Nicki Minaj's moment for life. Yeah, yeah. That, did. that was something like a quite nice little freestyle thing for you to yeah, do. Yeah, It was just me really fun and just executing and you know, side of me. That's yeah, just wild. And uh, you worked with Kerry Hilton as well. Yeah, that must have yeah. been fun. Yeah, definitely was a um, new single in the air. It's all mm. good. Yeah. And Mavado. Mm. You're clocking up the collabs. Yeah, man, I feel that, you know, my, I know, I feel like I spent a lot of time understanding what my fans want from me, you know what I'm saying? And one thing I definitely do get excited by is collaboration, just like I do when I got, like, Kanye's album and I saw the feature list, yeah. I was very excited, you know, so I wanted to have that impact on a, on a UK record. Mm. Now, I heard rumours of possibly the ultimate collaborator. Rastamas. Can yeah. you confirm or deny? Yeah. Um, you know, rumor has it I might be working with Rastamas. Oh really? Rumor has it. Mm. And uh, in in what way? Like he came to me in Mavado's video shoot. Did he? Yeah, he wanted to meet one of the gulliest. Oh, see. <laughs> was he on his skateboard? No, he wasn't. No. He was on my shoulder. <laughs> um, so this new album, sort of sounding a bit different to the first one. Mm. Mm. Tell me how it varies, because it feels like you've kind of been experimenting with different genres, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, you know what, I just, I just do what the hell I want. You know what I mean? <laughs> you rebel chip. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, with this, this album kind of like, words-wise, I wanted to make an album that kind of explains every single question someone could possibly answer. So with mm -hmm. this album, what I want, what I want of the album is for people to listen to it, you know, once or twice and actually give me their opinion on what they think of it as a structured body of work. Mm -hmm. This is very important to me and I feel that um, in the direction that I've chose to go, I feel good, man. I feel like it's, no matter what kind of social background you're from or what type of music you're into, there's something you can identify with on that album, so I'm mm. proper happy. Because it's called Transition, mm -hmm. and I guess so much must have changed for you from the first release to the second yeah, release, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely, man. So much has changed. You know, my life's not the same. My first album mm -hmm. I wrote when I was in school, yeah. going into college, you know. I wrote that whole album before I even signed my deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, it's crazy. I just, the transition that I've made and, you know, the growth that I've made as a person, mm -hmm. I wanted it to reflect on my album. So it's very mature sounding, you know very anthemic, you know, word for word. It, how I wanted to make the album was that if you found the lyrics on a piece of paper and you read them, they'll be just almost as powerful as how I deliver them, you know what I mean? So, okay. sick. And one way for your fans to find out a bit more about you, and myself included, is Twitter. You are, uh, you, you like 140 characters every now and again, am yeah, I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What tweets are you going to bring up? Well, I've got a few rumours. Ah. Uh, care to clear them up? Yeah. <laughs> a while ago, you tweeted that you were looking for a doormat. <laughs> Did you ever find one? I remember that. Um, yeah. Looking for a doormat. We were just cracking jokes, just chilling. Okay. So we were saying, me and my friends are having a chat, like, oh, what's the perfect girl? And Jasmine is like a doormat. Oh, <laughs> I was yeah. like, cool. Oh, so yeah, yeah, that was funny. Right, cool. How about um, going to university in September? That is true. Yeah? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, what, what, what are you going to study? I got prospectus yesterday. Did you? Mm -hmm. Where are you going to go? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that to myself, yeah. am I? Oh. <laughs> Crazy. Are we uh, going to find you in a single bed in a dorm room? I will not be camping. No. But you know what, my aim <laughs> is actually... They camp at uni, Same chip. thing, man, same thing. Yeah. Dorms, camps, all the same thing. I say camping for everywhere that you stay. Uh, what, what are you going to study then? Drama and theatre studies. Mm, a bit of a thespian, are we? Mm. I see. And I heard that you're also a fan of The Only Way is Essex in your time off. Um, yeah, I watch it every now and again. It's is. funny. Yeah, I was watching it last night. Oh, okay. apologies. Yeah. Um, and so, are you after a lady with a fajazzle then? A fajazzle? What the hell? Have you have you not been watching the anyways, Essex? Fajazzle. It's a uh, decorative piece for your womanly parts. What, what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> 
You're I was a just, classic. I was just wondering oh because you know gosh. you watch the only way as a six. Yeah, you might you like that. Go red now. On that note, talking uh, glittery bits. I'll uh, leave you there. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me, Chipmunk. You've been watching SPTV. I have been Georgia. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>